Dirty Pop. Yo, Sick and tired of warning everyone we talk about What's the deal with these people? There's no need to freak out The thing you got to realize is just joking in the end We got the gift of praise and nurse and say things that offend These, these, these wake up Oh, oh, my bad, I, I was just dreaming Can we start the show now? Welcome to another episode of the Nobody Cares Show. Uh, the first thing you heard was Henry, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Actually, I don't apologize for that because yeah, yeah. you guys hear that every show. Yeah. Um, I am a JJ Diesel, and I will uh, introduce who I have here today. We don't have the Hoff. Um, family business. Family business. Yeah. Um, unless the family business is owning a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> family business. I'm just kidding. That's he really did have family could business. Be, could be. Yes, um, and Jekylls is, um, I'm going to say this, um, he is, um, I don't know what to say and what he's doing. He's doing big things, he's yeah, working. Yeah, he's, he's, he's working, and not at his other regular dumbass job, he's making moves. Yeah, so yeah, he's making, yeah, that's what he's doing, he's right, making he's moves. He's making moves, so there's a good reason why he's not here, so wish him the best of luck. Yeah. But I actually do have a couple people with me, I have O from Old Square Entertainment. Hello. And, um... I, I'm going to say we've uh, missed this young lady. We haven't had her around for a while. Um, and she goes by the name of Coco. Hey, what's up? Yeah, sexy. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, baby. <laughs> All hot. <laughs> well, uh, basically, uh, if you've never heard the show, what are you looking at me for? Like, I remember when you said sexy, I remembered that somebody s- mentioned that to me. Remember? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, we actually got an email saying that you had a sexy voice. Yeah. They were like... Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, like yeah, I came that? in my pants. Wait, did I say that? <laughs> that Something was like you. that. No, yeah. no. That was me that, we got that was, all jealous. He was all like, that was that me that said that or that was me that came in my pants? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> no, no, I was just like, hey, taken. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just calm it Why down. Why you got to put me on blast like that? <laughs> She's all, whoa, I'm, it depends. I might be taken, motherfucker. <laughs> Hold on. But yeah, you got a compliment on your voice. Oh, thank yes. you. I don't think we should have told her that because now she's going to even try to be even sexier. Yeah. <laughs> so That's what embarrassing. I, what I thought about this song was to do do Is that how I sound? I don't know. Is that how I sound? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. She's Betty Booble. Yeah. When Marilyn I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I don't know. Sorry. That was stupid. So anyway, if you've never heard of the show, uh, basically what we do is very simple. We listen to underground artists. Um, we, we we give them about two to two and a half minutes, um, and we give them our, basically our, our critique, what we think about it. First impressions is basically, is, is really the main thing. We've never heard the song, and we want to give uh, you, the artist, kind of the opinion of the average consumer, the person that's going to be buying or not buying your music, or downloading or not downloading your music. So we're basically here to help the artists. Um, if you feel like it's not helpful, I'm sorry. At least you got to be heard. So fuck it, I guess. But the bottom line is, we do want you to get. We do want. We do want you to get heard. Is that is that correct? Uh, yeah. That sounds wrong to me. It does, but that's. What Doesn't we this want. sound dumb? Yeah, sounds- we want you to get heard. I guess that's right. That sounds yeah. right. Never mind. Uh, we want you to get heard, and we want as many people as possible to hear you. Yeah. There we go. I said the same thing, but I like the way that sounded better. So, uh, with that being said, uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna grade you, we're gonna critique you, um, and basically our rating system goes like this: um, one, never listen to again. Uh, I know it sounds kind of mean, but again, the main thing we're here is to kill my dog, <laughs> and then uh, to give you complete honesty. That's the one thing that no matter what, if we seem like we're being jerks or not. It doesn't mean we don't care about the artist, but we're not going to be your pals and big you when you suck. Yeah. But we're going to tell you why we don't like you. Just like you can email us and say why you don't like us. Yeah. Fair is fair. fair. But we don't read those, so fuck you guys. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, um, you know, so the the worst rating is we never listen to again. Second one is we let it play on the radio. Uh, The third is we'd illegally download it. Uh, the next rating is we would actually uh, purchase your single off of iTunes, and the absolute best rating you can receive is we'd purchase your whole album because those two and a half minutes of your song were so fucking awesome. 
And that happens. That's actually, it seems like a, like a far goal. Sorry, it's the wine. It's the Moscato uh, di Asti. And the Asti Spamanti. What was that? What song was that? Remember? <laughs> no, I don't know. my posse. <laughs> I swear to God, that's a rap. It doesn't sound as gay if as I not, did, but it's, it's a rap. It is now. Yeah, it is now. It's going to go in my freestyle. <laughs> so anyway, so that's pretty much what the show is and how it goes. Um, if you want to know where to go to check us out, check out everything about the Nobody Cares Show, you should probably go on nobodycareshow.com. Uh, we have lots of stuff you can submit there. Um, you can actually buy... Um, by music, by music from it's basically we're connected with Amazon or whatever. Yeah. So you buy music, artist gets money, we get money, boom, everybody wins, and you have great music. Uh, we also have um, basically the best gear around. Um, we have shirts, we have shoes. Yeah, <laughs> well, still with the shoes. I, though. I'm I am still amazed. I'm I'm they're, easily, they're, dude. I'm, I'm starting to like the shoes. I'm easily yeah. The new, the new low tops are tight. The low tops are all that. I'll tell you this: the yeah. low tops are bumping. Um, so, I mean, you know, we got uh, you know bibs, mouse pads, shirts, <laughs> ties, shot glasses, mugs, aprons, and many more. Yeah. And not just we have nobody cares show. We also have um, Jane Dirty Bob show stuff on there. We have the individual host stuff. Yeah. So there's plenty of stuff. There's an array of stuff to I choose know, from. So. Yeah, we do have a lot of stuff, so please definitely check it out. If you like it, buy it. We get money. Thanks. That's how that goes. Um, you can also listen to old shows on there. Yeah. You know? Past shows. Season check one. Out artists. So far, season two. Check out artists. There's just a lot of stuff that you could definitely check out on there. Um, one thing I noticed I thought was cool is uh, I told you I was uh, I was looking at our page, and you could actually actually see who's tweeting. Yeah. The you know, artists. The, the artists, the artist and it tweets. shows up on our page on our website, so that's very cool. Um, you can also definitely check out uh, – YouTube and uh, basically do a search for Nobody Cares Show and definitely subscribe. We actually, I'm not even making this up. This time people are actually doing it. I know I always say that everybody listens to us, but people are actually listening to us. Yeah. I'm not making this up anymore. <laughs> well, so, now, you, now you noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, definitely check it out and you'll get to see all the stuff that we put out there. It's just lots of stuff, um, you know, just different shows, artists, artists, shows, lots of cool stuff. So please definitely check it out. And uh, if you uh, want to submit and you, you know, you, or you want to, talk to somebody uh via email you can email us at nobody cares show at gmail.com and uh we also have a facebook which i saw today and it seems to be cracking yeah we have all the friends yeah yeah okay we were, we were on there for a bit yeah so we have like i don't know several thousand again. several thousand yeah. so i now have several thousand and five friends so that's kind <laughs> of a cool thing i appreciate that um, and uh, yeah, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, I know. I did because I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> Maybe you have all the friends. I don't. So that's how that goes. But yeah, so check out check us out on Facebook. Um, you know, definitely there's someone always there. Um, you know, to see how things are going and uh, to talk to you guys. And you know, there's just lots of cool stuff. So please definitely check that out. And uh, you can also uh, call our heat line. It's a 909-907-4328, 909-907-HEAT. You can leave a message or a text, and uh, definitely feel free to say or text whatever you like. And uh, we also have on our uh, nobodycareshow.com website, uh, we also have a host gator uh, banner where you can actually save money if you want to start up your own web on your own website. Yeah. You save loads of money. It's like a one penny for the first month. Something like that. And then like four ninety five. There's banners on there that say one cent, and then I know if you use our promo code, you save 20% off, I think. And the promo code is Nobody Cares Show. Yeah. So definitely use that promo code, and you'll save money. And once yeah. again, I just recently renewed our, you'll help us out. our hosting, and man, that thing is easy. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's not just, oh, we have a banner. We're actually using them. That's who we yeah. go with. Yeah, we're you know using I mean? them officially now. Yes, so um, definitely, definitely, please do that. Check that out. So, it's gonna so easy and so helpful to get your your stuff out there. So yeah, if absolutely. You're, if you're making a website. That's where you go. And if you're an artist and you don't have a website, basically, um, this kind of leads me to uh, attention, um, attention mag, attentionmag.com. Dot, yeah, attentionmag.com. Yeah. Basically, there's a lot of work. You know, we work with them um, very mm -hmm. closely, and uh, there's a lot of really good stuff on there. There's stuff about artists. There's stuff. Mm -hmm. For artists, by artists, um, and we've actually – I've saw some uh, emails today that it's actually helping people, so yeah. that's very good. Um, so hopefully and, – and if there's an issue, you know, that, 
anything i'm sure you can you know uh, i guess put ask and ask them yeah you'd have to ask them and you know i'm sure they can help you out as far you as you can ask it. us and then we'll pass yeah. it along that's always because either way you can leave it on the heat line you can email it we've given you plenty of forums in which you can contact us and yeah. if you say hey um tell them that shit's all that tell them it sucks this would help me anything yeah and maybe you can be someone that can actually contribute contribute yeah. to it so yeah. we're, you know we're definitely it's not you know, just certain anybody can contribute, and it's yeah. just to help the artist. So sure. it's just another way of networking, I guess you can say. Mm -hmm. So you know, hopefully, uh, actually, now hopefully it is helping. So I'm glad you know that it's actually helping people. So it's good that it's a uh, it's a useful tool. So uh, with that being said, that's the show. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Great show, guys. Great show. Awesome. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> yes, we're done. <laughs> All right. Just I usually do something extra, but Jay's covered it. Just go check out nobodycareshow.com. Boom. Uh, first artist of the day goes by the name of Super Sang. Sang? Sang? Super it Sang? It looks like Super Sang. Super Sang. Like he's a good singer. Yeah, and he's he does West Coast hip hop out of West Side of Fullerton. Is, is that a place? I got to be honest, I'm just because you say the put West Side in front of something doesn't make it tough. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. <laughs> so he's from Fullerton. I live in the, like, what? Yeah, like Orange the County. West Side of Orange County. County. The OC. Boom. The OC. He could That's be tough. the tougher he, side. Yeah, it could be the tougher side. He does look tougher than I do. He has yes, tattoos yes. on his arms, <laughs> on his forearms, which I do not, and sunglasses on, which I do not have on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. All right, Super Sang is not only a local art act but also uh international rap artist unlike a lot of artists super sang raps in two different languages nice lao laotian that's from the from laos is that what do they sound like <laughs> i don't know it's L right next to vietnam laos laotian <laughs> laotian <laughs> and english that's cool yeah that's pretty neat he has his music played on the radio and nightclub back in laos and also Played in the Philippines. They the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he played his music video on in the Philippines. Recently was on the internet radio show and a local radio show in L.A. During four years of his music career, he has put on put out one album, one mixtape, and multiple music videos, and perform at least thirty shows. And he's doing his song called "Brush Them Haters Off," and this is Super Saiyan. Hey. Sang. Go on, make the song hot, hell yeah I'm back for the top spot Used to sell CDs, man, in the parking lot About to make a couple meals and cop me a yacht Oh man, they're gonna hate me now Maybe I should go and switch up my style But I said, hell nah, they can wipe me down I'm the king around here, just hand me my ground you damn right I'ma put in work, now back to the lab like I'm a nerd Still manage to stay fly like I'm a bird It's my time, boy, and that's my word So cocky on the mic, cause I'm feeling myself So fresh to death, man, I'm killing myself It's time to move units right off the shelf And for all you haters, better get some help, uh Hey, go ahead, brush some haters off Hey, go ahead, brush some haters off Hey, go ahead, brush some haters off Vacate cause I had a son And you better believe he's my number one So I had to slow down and learn to become The greatest father to my only son And it's like that, well now I'm back And who's that? Well it ain't Shaq The pimp of all pimps call me Super Mac And don't play with me, don't play with my stack Get crunk, get hype, do whatever you like I'm the star around here, just don't touch the mic And I see a lot of ladies in here tonight and I guess you can't say it in my crib tonight And of course, man, I see them haters too They're on the sideline, what the F they wanna do? I stay G'd up, I don't mean to prove But make no mistake, dog, I got one too, uh Hey, go ahead, brush some haters off 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 
All right, that was Super Sang with Brush Them Haters Off. And if you want to contact him, you can contact him at supersang at gmail.com. Check out his MySpace at myspace.com super slash Super Sang. His Facebook at facebook.com slash Super Sang. And check him out on Twitter at Super Sang 714. All right, let's do it. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to do it. Um, I'll say this. Uh, the beat was uh, I like the beat. The beat was cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I think this guy has talent. You know, I definitely do. I just for me, um, his 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 voice didn't really super like super super stand out to me. Yeah. And I thought that his um his, his flow it was real simple. Like he didn't really change his cadence too much. And it it just. I don't know. I just felt like, um, since I'm a rapper now, that I I felt like, like I can write similar songs. Yeah. You know, uh, to be honest with you, you know, I I really just, I'm not really a rapper. That part's not honest. But um, I don't think I don't know. I I mean, it has a cool sound to it. It yeah, it has yeah, a good yeah, sound. Yeah. Like I don't think it's a bad song by any means. I just I just felt like it. It was. I think the bottom line is his, it was his flow was too simple, and he and he didn't like. Um, if he would have changed it up at least a little more, like there was one part where he kind of just a little bit, but for the most part, you exactly knew what you were going to get. And for me, it was just a little bit too simple, you know? And, but you know what though? I thought it was cool. I guess, you know, maybe now cause I have a son, I, I thought the part where he talked about his son, I thought was really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, and you're going to appeal to different people and that to me before I had a son, I would have thought it was cool no matter what, but it even, I think it's even cooler and that probably strikes more, gives me, gives more points. Yeah. For me, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. if you talk about something and someone either is in that situation or has experienced it, um, you know, you're going to get a little more kudos, if you will. And that's kind of what I'm giving you. Like I thought that was cool and that you're not afraid or ashamed to say, hey, you know what? I want to be a good father. Yeah. I think that's cool. You know, I think that's very cool. So definitely, definitely, you know, that's cool that you're not, um, you know, not saying that you're ashamed of your son, but I'm sure there's plenty of people that wouldn't put it out there just like that. You know what I mean? Some people, um, you know, would. I think some people wouldn't. But I, I think what's good is, I mean, as long as you stay stay true to yourself, you know what I mean? And if that's what you want to rap about, like, that's cool. Like, I, I, I like that. But I think if it would have been said differently, I would have liked it even more. You know, just it, it was just said way too simple for me, I think, is the bottom line. And yeah. I just would have liked a little more changes or I don't know. I know, there, I know your voice is what it is, and it's not bad. It's really not. You have, you have a good rapping voice, but it's just not like a, it's not a real great one where it it really, really stands out to me anyway. You know, but um, I did like the beat, so that's pretty much where I'm at. Oh, um, yeah, I thought the even though the beat was simple, but it was still good. It was still good. Um, overall, I did just like Diesel enjoy the whole song. It was enjoyable. I can see how you're like on the being played on radio at, in Laos and music video and filthy, but I honestly thought exactly the same thing. Yeah, I thought the the flow was a little too simple for yeah. me. For me, and. What else I was gonna say? Um, the beat was simple. Yeah, it was just simple. Like it wasn't bad. It was just everything, in general, was just like just plain. It didn't get me anywhere. And and also I you know like with West Coast hip hop, which you know, um, was real big in the '90s. Yeah. You know, it's it's I don't know. I guess I'm sure Jekyll's be better at this, but I don't know if maybe, um, I guess if you're trying to like do a little newer version of it. But the West Coast hip hop, you know, back then, like it was like depending on who, like whoever you were talking about had more of a like anyone you could think of had somewhat of a distinct. If, if they didn't have like a real, real wild style, like Ice Cube doesn't have a real wild style, yeah, you know, but he's he's got a to I mean, maybe because he's Ice Cube now, but has that voice or you yeah. know what I'm saying like yeah, Dub yeah, C, yeah. nobody sounds like Dub C, yeah, exactly. Mac 10, nobody's you know, Nobody people don't really like sound like Mac 10, that's true, Didn't you know what I mean. And DJ Quick, like he, I mean, there's you know his tone is maybe similar to like maybe like a short maybe like very like very yeah. like got that platinum sound yeah but he's he's a like a witty motherfucker yeah you know what I mean and I just I just feel like if we had maybe a little more wit it yeah, might yeah, yeah. might have went a long way you know what I mean yeah yeah um so yeah I don't yeah. know I think I think that's what bothered me too I I did like the fact that you were talking about um yourself a little more than than usually because. I would figure that you were brushing haters off. You'd be talking just all the smack, but 
You didn't. You were talking about. Yeah, that's stuff. a cool thing. Yeah, that's, that's a good very thing. Cool. That was very cool. I did like that. I did like that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Coco. Okay. Um, like the guys are saying, I I, I felt like the the music was kind of simple. It was, but it was easy to follow. I really liked the beat. It was, you know, just something that's out there and on the radio right now. And I just, you know, I enjoyed it. You know, um, also I really felt that I was able to understand your story and hear where you're from. I think my only thing is just develop a little bit more depth to your lyrics. Um, that's really, you know, just having that, being able to relate to you. It, you know, I, it kind of brought me into the song and yeah. really made me feel like, okay, I'm going to listen to it and just like really hear where you're coming from. But I think just having a little bit more depth to it, I think would really, yeah, yeah. you know, add something more to the, I mean, because everybody's doing this type of music. <laughs> just give yourself something, you know, what's, to make yourself stand out. Yeah. Is all I can say. Yeah, no, that's a that's a very good yeah, that's point. A very good point. Um so it seems like not that we disliked it, but I I mean I mean, I enjoyed the song. Yeah, it seems like you yeah, really yeah. enjoyed it, which is good. You know, which which is good. Um what do you think that you would uh vote it as? I would uh download it illegally. Nice, nice. Okay. Me, I would uh let it play on the radio, but it's not too far. Maybe because the little sun thing <laughs> touched me. I'm, I'm, I think I'm more uh, more emotional now. Mm. But uh, it's it's still radio. But I mean, it's closer to being. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know if that matters. Yeah. If if your boy wants to like, well, why don't you just can you buy me that song? Dad? Yeah. Oh, I w- yeah, I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole album, Dad. All right. I'm like, you got it, partner. <laughs> Let's do it. But for you, it's just like. Uh. For me, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> New, yeah, I would lime wire. Oh, there we go. Well, so steal it, yeah, steal it. No more lime wire. No more lime wire. Yeah. But illegally I'll download. I'll leave you on the download. Well, there you go. Your uh, your rating is illegally download. Uh, that's a that's a pretty decent rating yeah, to be decent, honest with yeah. you. Um, so good job. Keep up the good work, and uh, you know, hopefully, you get some kind of play out here. You know, that's uh, congratulations on your success out there yeah, but in the Philippines, working. right? Yeah. Very and cool, Laos, yeah. and Laos. I just, I want to hear how the, I, I'm. I'm picturing like they feel like like talk, they talk like Philippines. Maybe they talk like do they kind of like Filipino or? Yes, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm now. You make me all curious. They may even talk. Know. Maybe they speak Filipino. That may be what they speak. I don't yeah. know. Oh no, they speak Laos because it said Laos on there, right? Laotian. Right. Laotian. So, yeah. But um, so whatever the case is, good. Uh, you know, good luck in your future endeavors, and hopefully, um, anything we said helped you. He's probably saying, uh, stick that radio up your ass. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. <laughs> Only in Laos, though, he's saying it. No, he's not. He's not? No. Nah. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Super saying. As long as he says some bad words in Laos, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. And I know. I noticed that he didn't cuss. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He even he said did. mother effer. Really? Yeah, I, I noticed that. He, notice he that did one. not cuss at all. So, um, Props to you. Very... If, Again, stay true to yourself. If that's not what you don't, if you if don't want to do, do that, that yeah. then don't do it. Yeah. Be whoever you are. Yeah. So if someone's going to tell you, hey, you can't make it, you know, because you don't cuss, um, you know, you obviously you're having some success. Yeah. Um, there's a chance where you don't get the success you want. Mm-hmm. There's a chance you do, you know, but whatever it is, I definitely commend you for staying and being who you want to be. So that's actually a. I was going to say, you know, I'm making a lime wire, but I don't want to. <laughs> but you, you got a lime wire anyway, though. So right. great job. Yeah, so there you go. Anyways. There you go. All right. And now uh, the new freshly signed artist to Zubans Records. Booyah. And JJ Jizzle and his Jibber Jabber. Zubas. Zubas. He said Zubans, huh? Yeah, Zubas. Zumba? Zumbas. Is that like the Roomba? It might be. What's a zoo? What's zoo bands? So everybody knows. Zoo buzz. Yeah, zoo buzz. Are those awesome pants in the '90s that the weightlifters used to wear that look kind of like MC Hammer pants, but they have different, um, different patterns on them. Yeah, they like the stripes and stuff. The wrestlers used to wear them. Oh, they do. Oh yeah, yeah, they still do. I think. Good call. <laughs> that's that's actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good call, man. Yeah. Yep. See, she knows. She knows what. They're doing. I want some. From, I'm gonna go buy some of my birthday money. <laughs> I'm gonna give me some nobody cares show Zubas. Oh, dude! <laughs> don't, don't even say that. I'm gonna go make them right now. You have to go make them because Jekyll's will pause go, the show right now. Oh my god! Jack, Jekyll's will go buy them. So uh, anyway, uh, first thing I want to say is um, Bulls doing pretty dang good in the playoffs already. Yep. 
boom, beating the Pacers. That's how that goes. Way to go, D. Rose, MVP. That's all i got to say about that. Now, uh, and I'm not going to wish the Lakers good luck because that would be false. <laughs> so I don't want to be fake. I want to stay true to who I am. Yes. I'm the super saying Sorry. of you go for your team. Yes, yes. So that's how that goes. Uh, and then there's this. Um, this is just something real quick. I just thought it was weird. Um, you know how like um, I guess I'll just say it. you know like when you wipe your butt and like like little rolls of toilet paper like you know kind of roll up from the the lint. Yeah, the lint. <laughs> I found one of those on my shoulder, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know I don't know how it got there. Isn't that weird? That's disgusting. Uh, Not weird. I don't know. But there wasn't, I don't think there was poop on it. <laughs> That's so gross. I found one on my shoulder and I have was no it clue. Was it like lint from like the dryer? No, it's toilet paper. Oh. oh. Toilet paper rolled up. Maybe it's from the dryer. Straight from my ass. I don't I don't know how it got there. You do it wild, <laughs> maybe, I guess. Maybe you put in that Superman cheat again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I just thought that was really, um, really weird. And Are then you still wearing the shirt? Well, it's clean. It's washed. <laughs> <laughs> it's washed. Did you just brush it off, or did you actually change the shirt? Oh, did you throw it on the floor, or did you throw it in the trash? You're like, what's this? How did you know it was that, though? Because I know what it looks like, because I wipe my right. butt every day. Right. I'm just letting <laughs> and I And, I, fa- and I, I found it when I was in the bathroom. Okay. And I looked on my shoulder. Oh, is it because you get completely naked when you take a poop? Uh, that could be. Okay. I don't think it has anything to do with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting naked when you take a poop. I like to be well, free. Especially in your house. In my own house. It's not like I'm... On the construction site and coming out butt ass naked with just my boots. <laughs> hey guys, break yep. time over. I mean, you know, <laughs> fucking Someone creepy. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch. <laughs> yeah. When's lunch? Yeah. When's lunch? Yeah. Where's my, my Zubaz pants <laughs> yeah. off? Who, who took my Zubaz? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's <laughs> oh man, I bet you all. Maybe that's why you get it. You don't have the Zubaz anymore. If I had the Zubaz, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> I don't know why I'd prevent it, but I just know it would. Just because they're Zubas. The, the Zubas are the man's Uggs. Yes. That's basically what it is. Mm. <sighs> Except I wore Zubas. I did not wear Uggs. Yeah. So uh, and then I got a couple of things real quick that um, at the Ilho Depots. First thing here is um, my nose was broken. Um, not actually broken, but it, the smeller, the smelling part of my nose did not work for a period of time when I was on my way to a store. You know, when you smoke, you you know, your senses kind of lower a little bit, like mm-hmm. yeah, cause your that. taste and smell. Mm-hmm. Well, so you don't know you smell like shit all the time? That's exactly what I'm alluding to. <laughs> I was on my way to my first store, right? And, and, I, and I cut a huge-ass fart, right? And I was like, usually they smell. Wow. Every now and then your farts don't smell. And I was like, wow, my farts don't smell. Boom, so I'm like, brah, 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 farting it up, right? <laughs> so I go into the store, boom, <laughs> brah, brah, I'm just farting it up because I think they don't smell. <laughs> so I'm like, bram, 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 boom. In the store. Right before the manager comes, brah, cut one out, and I'm talking to him like, yeah, yeah, all right, cool, see you later. I go into my truck, I'm like, my truck smells like shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, this whole time I've been smelling like shit, and I didn't even know it. When I got into my truck, my truck just <laughs> stunk like shit. And I was like, son of you a were bitch. You baking in there. Yeah, I was like, I think I smelled like shit when I was talking to that manager. <laughs> so with that being said, this was awesome. Um, I, uh, You know how they have the... Well, it's at Home Depot, but you call them the Home Depots, the guys, the Mexican yeah, yeah, labor. Yeah. Oh, day Mexican labor? day laborers actually yeah. helped Haiti rebuild. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, this was awesome. We had a worse idea, too. No? Yeah. You don't want to hear that one. No, and I'm actually kind of disappointed, though. That we didn't get to do it? Yeah. The Japan relief or what? Well, yeah. no, no. We had a great kinda. idea. Was, we'll say it. Just say it. Yeah. Basically, we wanted to do a relief. For um, the Japanese, the Japanese earthquake. Um, for the earthquake, and we wanted to send day laborers over there to help rebuild all the karaoke bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but think then, that's but cool. then we're all like, we don't want to do the same thing again. We send the day laborers. So then we're all like, yeah, they're probably all. S- so we started thinking they're probably they're all, all radioactive. Sad. Yeah, we anyway. thought they were sad. Oh. We were thinking they're sad, so we decided to like try to get people to donate karaoke songs. Donate songs to them. That mm. way they can. That's neat, right? Cheer up. Yeah. Yeah, everyone needs to be cheer up. Yeah. So that's how that goes. Donate. Please donate. <laughs> yeah. If you just donate right now, it's going right to us. Cause <laughs> <laughs> yeah, donate to Japan anyways. Japanese. Japanese. Yes. So anyway, check this out. Um, 
there was a Home Depot at Home Depot mm -hmm. <laughs> walking towards me. And um, this was awesome because he looked like a Prince wetback. <laughs> oh. He looked like Prince. Like the way Prince looks. Like how it was described. A little petite man. He, he was, was small thin, and short thin, and had kind of puffy hair. <laughs> and he said, Did and he, he had a pump door? Hey, and he said, Do you need help? <laughs> all with an accent, but all like the low Prince voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost said, Yes. <laughs> like, come help me stack stones or something. Like, dude, it was so, like, he had like, uh, like blue eyes. And he was like, it's here, man. I, thought, I thought he was going to say, Do you like that? She's yeah. crying. <laughs> he said, What? <laughs> She's crying. Was like, that all Mexican from. Oh. But wait, from what? From Purple Rain. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. in a Mexican accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, cr she's crying. <laughs> I said, oh, man, she sounds really happy. Uh, she's crying. <laughs> Do you remember that part when he when he brings out Polonia before he digs her out with his hand? Oh. oh. Best part ever. Yeah. That's the part that used to give me a boner yeah. when I was eight. Yes. I told you. I told you. I was eight I was years like old. I was, like, watching it with you that time, and I'm like, you used to watch this when you were little? <gasps> Cause she, the, only part, yeah, she, the only part, the only parts that why. she'd seen, yeah, yeah, was like on VH1. Like she didn't see the real version. Yeah. When she finally saw the real, the real version. Well, now on VH1 they play like the real version. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, never You're mind. You're welcome, I, I kids. Yeah. I won't embarrass you. you today. What? Go ahead. <laughs> you can't embarrass him. <laughs> the whole, the whole like Baba's Big Boy thing, when you were like five or six. Oh, I was a baby, or like I was less than that, I think. Mm, I thought your mom said you were like. Was I that old? You were like five, maybe well, four or five. I was maybe. jerking it in a boss big boy, <laughs> <laughs> and I had sweats on, and they looked. I had a little boner. <laughs> <laughs> the Zubas you had. Yeah, I, 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 I had some Zubas, <laughs> and there was some action going down on my Zubas. His mom was like, "Oh, this is when he and I were dating." And she's like, "Oh, you know what he did when he was little?" And I was like, "Yeah, what? would you tell her that?" <laughs> Thanks, mom. She's all of a sudden yeah. I hear a little. <laughs> yeah, I was giggling. They look. <laughs> He had a little bro, he had a little boner in it. <laughs> yeah, a little boner in my zoo boss. Nice. <laughs> at the table. What am I embarrassed about that for? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was on it back then. That makes me early. Feel, that makes me feel awesome, actually, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm quite proud of myself. He's all late and coming to with the, with the Prince movie. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Like he knew what he was doing by then. I knew yeah, by the time the Prince movie came out, oh, <laughs> I already knew what the dealio was. I was already I was already digging on my business. I'm like, I've been in this shit for four years. I've been doing it. <laughs> this ain't nothing new. So I guess uh, I was a late bloomer then. Yeah, you were because I was I was jerking it. <laughs> Jeez, jerking it inside. I Sorry, I was in five from and the inside. From the get, yeah, they. I heard that they said you that were the, molesting yourself at what? five. Yeah, that the earliest. Um, you know, um, jerking it is before a, a child was even born that they have proof that a, he was kind of touching his little weenus and, you know, stimulating it. So I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. You can find that Wikipedia. Yeah. And that's oh a JJ He'll have a picture, picture of me. <laughs> All cool. A little smile. The little Zubaz on. <laughs> my, in dolphin, the womb? my dolphin Zubaz on in the fucking womb. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. A little dolphin helmet. <laughs> so gross. Oh, with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> my zoo balls are around my little ankles. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. So anyway, and then this is another thing I thought was funny. Another, um, you know, we'll call him a Mexican. He was like a wetback or whatever. And uh, he was helping me out. Um, like he was he was driving the reach or a forklift, you know, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, bringing yeah. down pellets for me. And, uh, you know, you know that uh, that saying, you know, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Yeah. He had his own little twist. They were calling his name over the speaker yeah. to help. And he's one of those like Mexican guys that he says something and looks around and, you know, cause he thinks he's so funny, but he's not funny. <laughs> so they say his name and he, and he looks up at the sky and says, that's my name. Don't rub it out. <laughs> and then looks at me like, what'd you think about that? <laughs> and I was like, Oh, what, like, what did I just hear? <laughs> like, that's my name. Don't rub it out. <laughs> I was like, I was good. I, mean, I don't know what to say. I was just like, I was good, like, <laughs> and, he, and he looked at, like he kind of like gave it like a little bob, like yeah, like, that was good. And I was like, you oh, get his, the f you made his day. Yeah, I made his day. I was like, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> <laughs> stupid Westpac. <laughs> Go wear your fucking Zuba <laughs> and beat it. So then, um, anyway, I, I saw this. I don't think this is racist, but <laughs> that's, it's already bad sign. <laughs> go ahead, go it, ahead. It is then because okay, I saw an older Asian guy pulled over by a cop, mm -hmm. and I'm not kidding around. The first thing I was like, yeah, get him. 
I know he's a bad driver and he can afford the ticket. Like, <laughs> all those thoughts, I swear to God, came into my mind. You're right. It's not racist. <laughs> I swear to God. I can, I can see how you cannot think that's racist. Because <laughs> that's... That's so racist, dude. Come on. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Sometimes there's validity in things that seem racist. They're not racist. They what was he be, driving? What was he driving? Uh, like a Lexus. Oh, okay. So and, and older He's Asian driving? guys are bad drivers. I see them. I, I'm in parking lots, five to six parking lots every day, and I see them. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, you stupid ass. Like, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm not racist in that. I just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, you Asian American. <laughs> you could afford it. Yeah, you, you yellow jacket. <laughs> Y'all politically correct. Why do you call it yellow jacket? Because they call Asian like yellow. Um. I don't. I didn't call him zipper head. I call him a yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. I don't know. I just think that's less offensive. That's not offensive. <laughs> yellow jacket. I'm not Asian. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Asian. I don't yeah. know. See, I don't find wetback offensive. Yeah. Well, I actually kidding. have a big wiener. I'm not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I felt, I felt like like Henry was like, he was. He was. He was. He was. me the fuck out. I was like, <laughs> oh, is that a rat? <laughs> so anyway, the last thing is, is I want to actually get this picture, um, and show it to BBJ, because um, you know he's a USC fan, okay. and like a supposedly big USC fan. He's a supposed a lot of. Check this things. out. I ha- I have a, um one of the guys that we know. He's an Oregon fan. You know, we want to go see the Ducks and uh, USC play in Oregon this year. Yeah. There's a picture of BBJ with an Oregon Ducks jersey on, cheering, like, looking at, like, yeah! What? Yes. So this isn't meant for any – this is just meant for facts. I saw the picture, and it made me happy and angry at the same time. So he doesn't know that I've seen it. So I'm going to try to get – I'm going to try to get that guy's number so he can uh, forward me the picture. Yeah. And when he's on the show, I want you to put that picture – (laughs) <laughs> up on the screen. Just have it on there all you day. You should so. get the Twilight picture as well. Twilight? Why? When he was wearing that freaking, what was that t-shirt? Like the Team, e- Team Edward t-shirt. <laughs> it was like a v-neck, gay-ass girl shirt. And he was like, because he, he lost a bet. Or he, won, he won a bet, actually. He, yeah, wait. for him, he won. He won. He got to wear a fucking girl shirt and, girl they, shirt they and Zubas. They went to see, like, the Twilight <laughs> movie or whatever. Team, team, which team's he on? I don't know. Jacob? The gay team? I think he's on both teams. He goes both <laughs> ways. <laughs> both. both. So, yeah. Zubas. Hey, did you guys know that today was National uh, Record Store Day? What? They don't even have record stores anymore. Uh, like Tower Records? It, like uh, <laughs> oh, independent artists, like where yeah. they feature their... Um, really? Yeah, they actually had um, a big old thing. Oh, I knew that. Where yeah, that's oh, what yeah, we're, that's we're that's spreading. Shows, yeah. yeah, what do you think? I think we posted it on Facebook earlier today. Yeah. For real. Yeah, that's awesome. Th- where you could have <laughs> had... Like gone to different record stores, what? Like Penny Lane, different you know independent yeah. artists are gonna be there, and um, they actually went and uh, like they had uh, Henry Rollins was in North Hollywood. Oh really? They had yeah. Foo Fighters at in uh, you know just <coughs> different um, record stores like all over America. Like those are the ones that I knew that were like in California. But I thought it was pretty neat that they do it every year. It's um, National Record Store Day. They should call it. That's really cool. So yeah. they had like I think their first one they had was like six years ago, and they had they um, Metallica. Obviously, you know them, they're yeah. trying to like save. increase um, people buying, you know, albums obviously in the record store because it's a dying breed, and you can get a lot of music and different different things, you know, when you go into a record store than what you could if you just buy an album off. Well, you probably Amazon. Like or if I go to a store, I'll probably find other stuff that I would exactly. normally buy. Yeah. By the so JJ support Diesel your mm-hmm. local. That's what you want. Record store. Oh yeah, that's definitely true. Mm-hmm. Support any local <coughs> store, really. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. no Walmart. Yeah, because stuff. you know your your revenue, your tax revenue is going to go into your state. You know, to wherever city you live, and I mean that's just going to help you out. Yeah. Good advice. Good advice. Not just for not just musically, but in general. Mm-hmm. You probably find more indie uh, indie indie groups there too. So mm-hmm. yeah. Go so. There you go. Thank you. Very good. And that's how we do it. Uh, I should have been ready, huh? Yeah. Thank you, JJ Diesel. That was fast. That, that was good, though. For that jam. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. Freshly signed. The Zubar Freshly Zubar. signed. The Zuba Records. Zuba Records. Yeah. I keep thinking Zumba. The Zumba Records. Because you do Zumba. Mm-hmm. enough of that mess. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you, Diesel. It was awesome. Thank you. All right. Next artist of the day goes by uh, Pavs. Pavsy? Pavsy. They do indie rock at a. Uh, do. Pavesi. Do. Pavesi? Pavesi. Yeah, that sounds better. Pavesi. And they do indie rock out of Donegal? Do- yeah. Donegal? Donegal. Donegal, I guess. Ireland. Pavesi are a four piece guitar outfit from Donegal Town in the northwest of Ireland. The group are made up of Duck Gallagher on vocals, Ron- Ronan, Hannah on guitar, Michael Gillespie. 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 I was going to say Gillespie, but it's not. Oh, you had it. Gillespie on bass and is Mark. G-I-L. G-I-L. Gillespie. Gillespie. Yeah, it is. Gillespie. Yeah. And Mark Hanna on drums. You should read it before you. I didn't have a chance to. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and their song they're doing is called Turn Around Here. And this is Pavacy. <laughs> with turnaround year and if you want to contact them you can contact them at privacyband at gmail.com you check out them on myspace.com slash privacy music and you can find them on youtube at the privacy on youtube all right all right i'll go ahead um i was trying to figure out who they reminded me of uh they sounded so familiar to me somehow the and very beginning reminded me of morrissey like the very beginning, yeah, and it, it, it did. Mm-hmm. But I'm so like, then it went there was away. a yeah, there was a band that kind of reminded me, and then for some reason it always, for some reason I don't know why it just I kept going back to like the eighty some eighty group, mm-hmm. and I didn't know why and I didn't know who and it was bugging the crap out of me, huh? Yeah, but oh well, you sound like them. I sound like them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you guys played very well. Um, I didn't, I'm, I'm not really dig this kind of music, but. I still thought you guys played very well together. Um, I didn't mind your guys' voice. That's pretty much. 
you flirting with him or what? Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I couldn't, because I was trying to figure out who would it remind me of, and I couldn't yeah. concentrate that much. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I know what you're saying, though. But yeah, I, yeah. All right, Coco? Yeah, that, that's kind of the whole song I kept thinking, oh, my God, this kind of sounds like an 80s or 90s yeah. rock band. Yeah, that, yeah. And that's really, it, like, I kept thinking, like, oh, Reality Bites, like, that kind of, yeah. like, oh, soundtrack see, or I, something. I, I was like, going, I'm all like, I know this, and it's in a movie somewhere. I know yeah. this. <laughs> I kept doing the same thing. Yeah. I kept thinking, like, oh, it's kind of like a, that's really what the music kind of sounded like to me was, like, a soundtrack that I would hear from a movie. Yeah. It was really, you know, enjoyable to listen to, but, um, you know, it just kind of seemed like an, like an 80s, <coughs> you know, 80s, 90s rock kind of, kind of song. Yeah. It was good. You guys played really well together. Um, the lyrics were kind of simple, but you know, just kind of mm-hmm. easy to follow. Yeah. And I enjoyed it overall. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, pretty much what they said, you know, I mean, the sound was cool, nice, l- mellow sound. Um, but yeah, to be honest, it, it um, really was, wasn't, wasn't too much for me to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but once Coco said the movie, I almost enjoyed it more cause then I could picture I'm like, Oh, I think I would enjoy it more in the movie. <laughs> Yeah, to yeah, be yeah, honest, yeah. you know, not to be an asshole, not to say that they don't have, you know, that they're not very good or anything. But they played together well, like you guys said. I'm, yeah, I yeah. pretty mm-hmm. much just, it's just, um, I don't know. I, I like some parts and other parts I was less fond of. But even the parts that I liked, I didn't love. I thought were okay. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when he went yeah. right, when he went right into and said the turn around. You know, I like the way he said it. I thought that was cool. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think, I, I think it could have been a little louder. I didn't mind. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it was levels. I don't know. Their part. Well, just that part. Just where he says the turn around. I didn't know. mind it. I thought it was yeah. cool. I just, like I said, just this isn't, it, it was kind of just like, um, I'm not going to say coast because you guys probably don't know what coast is, but it's <laughs> it's a soft. It's easy listening. It's easy yeah. listening yeah. station. And that's where you guys would be. And I don't listen to that station, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, that's That's where I'm at, too. Um, but I, I could see, like, but the chorus, though, I thought was good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you guys had a really strong chorus. Strong chorus. Um, and I think that if I like this kind of music, that I would, you know, I think that I would say, way to go, great job, that I w- would really like it. But since I don't care for this music, I'm going to say great job still, but it really, it's, it really isn't for me. It doesn't really appeal to me at all, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is definitely not something that I would, um, you know, really uh, have in my headphones too often. Yeah, you know, just just to be quite frank with you guys, but yeah, you guys played well. And you guys have talent, you know, way to go. Um, but yeah, I guess O said maybe you think that there's maybe a, a problem with the uh, with the levels. N- no, I j- it it was. I didn't think it had a problem with the levels. It's just that one when he said turn around here was I too low. Was honestly too low. Now that you mentioned it, I'm all like, you know, what? it was kind of kind of low. I couldn't hear when he said that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't mind it. So, but I think we're kind of all on the same page. It seems like. But yeah, yeah. Th- that movie thing, I really could yeah, picture Yeah, I could it. really picture this type of music like as a soundtrack to a movie. Like it was enjoyable. Yeah. It would yeah, it wasn't bad. It would flow really well with that. I mean, in that it, I think it would work out really well. So yeah, even geez, anything, right? Could you picture this like uh, them playing like you just walk into a bar? One of those. No. Not really. So. No, not no, not to be honest like with you. Like let's say they're doing like a show a and you're walking in and stuff. I'm uh, trying to even like think like lounge or something, but no, eh, not, not really. Do anything there? No. Yeah, I, don't I, I, would I think the movie's the best fit. Movie yeah. soundtrack, that type of shit. Thing. Like we said, get on a fucking soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Soundtracks are hot now. We, yeah. t- we said that Son- soundtracks ain't like shit like the, the way they used to be. Yeah. yeah soundtracks are hot. Trent Reznor won an Academy Award for Social Network. So. Yeah. There you go. So uh, I'm gonna vote again. I'm gonna say uh, say radio. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm going with you. I'm going radio. I'll Coco? say radio. All right, there you go. Your radio, and uh, we've pretty much already uh, said what we thought. So uh, good luck, continued success. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. All right, next artist of the day goes by uh, a, a, a little group called Nikki D and Key Baby, and they do hip hop out of Daleville, Alabama. Al- a L is Alabama, right? That is small ass right. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this female, this, this female duo is back at it again. I don't even know what I'm okay. Um, you can't refer to them as Nikki D and Key Baby. Don't mix family with business is what people say, but 
these two can't help it because they are sisters. They look like they mean business in their picture, too. <laughs> the one on the right looks meaner. Yeah, the one on the right looks meaner. Yeah. At the ages of 17 and 23, respectively, Nikki D and Key Baby have been working together in the music industry industry since 2007 but recently became more serious about it in 2009 the two sisters have always been a part of music even since they were younger the style of these two cannot be put into words but only be summarized into almost famous entertainment summarize it yeah almost famous inter- entertainment is nikki d's company which consists of herself and key baby all right and they're doing a song called <coughs> loco and this is Nikki D and Key Baby. Loco. Loco. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me because they know I'm rolling so low. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me because they know I'm rolling so low. Loco. Loco. Loco, when I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me cause they know I'm rolling so low. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me cause they know I'm rolling so low. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me cause they know I'm rolling so low. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me cause they know I'm rolling so we stay in the cut, chillin', cause you know that we stay swagged out. I suggest you chill too. If not, I'ma get my bag. And all my clothes move, that's why I keep my tags out. Tags the riches, yeah, let's leave the rags out. But yeah, I got moves, I can make your check bounce. And then I ask you to dance. Every thought counts. Talking about getting ink, I can't make a change for a penny. And when we do get signed, I'm still staying empty. ND, Nikki D. D, the letters ND. Ain't even famous yet, got haters who befriend me. I'm just writing by the bar, don't jail me. me. And since I look real fresh, come and smell me. My mind stay clear, but my pockets occupied over. But until they realize that, I'ma keep on riding solo. We taking over, that's what we call the swag set. And the importance of war is not who's right, it's who's left. Yeah. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me, cause they know I'm rolling solo. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me, cause they know I'm rolling solo. When I hit the club, everybody going loco. Crowd stand behind me, cause they know I'm rolling solo. When I hit the club, everybody going Just look up on the word, now the thunder's call messed up. Don't try to copy, I am much fit to a human. They said psycho was the only thing I'm pursuing. But I just look over all the unpaid. And my tooth is swagged out like a rat that's in a maze. A maze. All right, that was Nikki D and Key Baby with Loco. And if you and if you want to contact them, you can contact them at yeahboy06 oh, yeah. at gmail.com. You can find them on MySpace at myspace.com slash uh, that chick, Nick, uh, Nikki11, rstage.com slash uh, profile Nikki D and Key Baby. No, Nikki D, Key Baby. And you can find them at Twitter at AFE Music. You can also find them on uh, YouTube at Almost Famous Entertainment, and they have a mixer.com slash almostfamous.com. All this stuff is on their website if you need it. All right, let's do it. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll try it out here. Um, I, thought, I thought the beat was okay. Uh, wasn't great. Maybe I felt like uh, if they could maybe add a little more something to it. Yeah. I'm unsure what, but anything. Yeah. Um, it wasn't that bad. I, I I'm not sure if I'm if I'm getting. It looked like I can kick my ass. So I don't want to get which which one I'm talking about. But one of them, it it seemed to me like um was just talking. Yeah. Wasn't doing much rapping. Yeah. Um, seemed like a lot of it was the hook. <laughs> seemed like it was just the talking. And the hook, I, the hook didn't really grab me. 
to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it was an energy thing. Oh, yeah. That's another one. Because yeah, it was like... Da da ba da ba and a ba da 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 loca. Like it just, it just didn't grab me at all. To be honest with you, yeah. You know, um, some simple hooks work fantastic. Yeah, with the energy. It yeah, it just felt mm-hmm. like there wasn't a whole even in the entire thing. I didn't feel a lot of energy yeah, out of yeah. it. Yeah, that's to be great, honest with that's you, that's a great point. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. And I felt like I think the second girl fell off a little bit when she tried. She said a word and it just didn't go. I can't remember <laughs> what the word was now. I wish I would have fucking written it down. Um, and I thought that the recording oh, was that's, that's not I got. very good. Not very I definitely good. heard ambiance and like the, and it sounded like, like it was low. Like it just, I don't know. Like mm-hmm. It just wasn't crisp. Yeah. It wasn't crisp at all to me. So, um, you know, I mean, they are relatively new. I know they said they've been involved in music for a long time, but as far as that they've been doing it since 07, got serious in 09. Yeah. You know, that's only, you know current since 07 that's only four years under your belt you know so you're still you know uh relatively new as far as performing wise and you know writing songs and all that kind of stuff so um i i just don't i don't think he wrote a bad song i just don't think it was executed as well as it could have been you know um and actually you can take a song anyone there's the really good artists can make a bad song good, and the bad artists can make a good song bad. Yeah, you know what I mean. Lot people that are really good artists can make lots of things sound good, you know. And I just don't feel like your guys' delivery and you know, and your emotionless cadence, um, you know, really. I don't know. I just, I just there's something, and the recording. I don't know what it was. It was just. I guess it wasn't crisp. It just sounded far. It didn't sound like. Had effects on it. Had effects. You know on what it. I mean? It, I don't know. Yeah. It, it just sounded. I don't know what the word is. I'm looking for. Not good. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm looking for. And, and I don't. I wish I can tell you what to do to fix it. I yeah. can't. But I know what I hear. And I just, you know, I I just think you guys just need a little more work and need to keep practicing. But I don't think you guys, you know. I'm not going to tell you guys, oh, quit and get out of it, but yeah, yeah. I think you guys definitely need more practice and you guys need more time maybe in the studio, you know, and I guess perfecting your craft, if you will. Yeah. So that's pretty much where I, I'm at. Uh, oh. All right. Uh, as a female artist, I'm first going to say that uh, if you're going to bring your game, you have to bring it even more than the guys. Yeah. That's just how you gotta it is. You got to bang. You have to bang it from the get, you know, because that's – because it's twice as hard for a woman. And you guys basically were beyond. With the, I didn't even think about the emotion. That if you would have gave it a little emotion, it might have been better. But I truly did not like this song. Yeah. Um, the recording was was the mix. The mix was so bad. Like, the effects. I, I think you played the effects too much. Uh, it actually reminded me of the of the way when <laughs> in Aliens where, where they put that, where they plug in that robot. Yeah, he, t- he was talking like that. And he was talking like that. That's the fact that kind of reminded me of the alien robot he, effect. Yeah, take that off. Well, what, yeah, it was an <laughs> aliens, but the robot. You know the the what the fuck was that thing called? Robot two thousand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, it sounded like that. I didn't like that effect. Um, the your whatever you were rapping was so basic that you you were honestly you would probably get laughed at, especially as a female. So. Uh, yeah, you, that's you, a gotta, good point. you you got to you got to really watch that cuz you, when you're a female you really have to bring it even more than than the guys. You can't just like half ass it like yeah. some of the guys can half ass it and still make it. But as a female you can't you can't half ass anything. Um the the as the first the, the first MC was just was just like plain and simple was just awful. With with their lyrics and all the cadence and all that stuff, the second one was even was a little bit worse than the first one, because mm-hmm. you're right, she did fall off. Yeah, and usually I don't see that stuff usually, but you could really tell on this one. Mm-hmm. Like if Jekyll's was here, he probably ripped it, ripped yeah. it completely. Yeah, because he has friends who are female and they're trying to and they're struggling, <clears> and, and we know they're really good. So that are real. I mean, they've been on the, you know the show. Yeah. You know, definitely, and it's not even like us being biased. You can check them out. Yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah, yeah. So they're he, really good. Yeah. He he's he's got a lot of connections with female artists that are trying to make it and are not 
and they're and he honestly thinks that they're better than most other guys. I mean, if you sleep with him, he'll probably give you some time in the studio or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jackos? Just trying to get him some dates. Sorry. <laughs> oh, just, oh he's studio. Yeah. He'll pay for it. He's, yeah. He don't have a studio, just so you know. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I made all he that up. That. Um, but yeah, the beat was like it was still simple too. Yeah. So I, I don't know where you get your beats if you're making them. You just gotta. You're gonna have that, that beat. You better come real hard. <laughs> yeah, cause, and then I, I honestly, the the one thing I'll give you, is that 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 thing when you come when I come into the club, everybody makes you go local. I kind of like that. Well, I can see how I can see how it could be catchy. But it has to be. Yeah. It was, ju- but but then, but then it's like. You heard it so much. Yeah, that it's kind of overkill. No, with the, uh, just the blandness and just the almost the monotone of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they almost ruined it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because I think if they would have just came like bam, like you know, maybe, and maybe that's not their style. Maybe they're not real aggressive. Yeah, on the mic like that, you know, mm-hmm. you don't have to be like, no. oh no, you know, you don't gotta be real wild, but yeah. it just <clears throat> felt like real emotionless and a little bit of emotion. Yeah. You know, and but but yeah, so I I think that the playing the hook, <clears throat> I think they should have either added more to the hook, or maybe gave it a little more gusto in the hook, that they have right now. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Absolutely. That's it. That's all I got. All right, Coco. I felt like um, the girl's voice was okay. It was pretty good, um, but the like you guys said, the, the lyrics were just kind of really simple. Um. There was really no substance to the yeah. to the lyrics at all. Nope. Didn't really know what you guys stood for. Didn't know your story. Didn't um I think you guys really just need to find yourself in in, in the song, you know, it just didn't really fill you. Um, maybe this just wasn't I don't know, you just Well, I, I think on that yeah. part in defense of them, like I know what you're saying, I'll, you want your artist to say something, but I didn't really feel it. Well, yeah. I know I know what you're yeah, I definitely I, know what you're saying, but I think on the other hand, <clears throat> this yeah, every they, artist this this wasn't meant to get to know me. This was just meant no, for a right. party song. Yeah, a party song. For a club song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're not you're not going to get that. Now, if this you could add if, if stuff this in, is but... if this is what all their songs are, then yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I mean? But if you're just going to do a party song, I love party songs as much as everybody, but I do want People them like to dance. I do want them to say something at times. Yeah. And I personally, I'm not going to assume that you don't have anything to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, For me. But I, I just, because um, if you had done it, I guarantee you this, if you had done it and this shit was off the hook, we wouldn't be saying like you have nothing to say. We'd be like, damn, this shit's banging. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, I think yeah. because uh, the song, you know, to us wasn't very well executed, mm-hmm. it's another thing that you can find yeah. that really is not a bad thing to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But me personally, I don't. I don't want to assume that they have nothing to say because they they may. There are other other. You yeah. know, maybe they yeah, have. I took this song as a club song. So. Yeah, exactly. And when I take it as a club song, I'm gonna say, you know what? They're not gonna be saying too much. Basically, it's just meant to, you know, get your dance on or whatever, get your party on. So. Um, I didn't even feel that though. Like. Well, I think that's what they were going yeah, for. That okay. was going for. Yeah, I they think, were going for that. Because if you listen to the hook, come across. Yeah. You listen to the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I. Th- it's just and again, see, if you, the a lot of the. The songs you hear that dance make you want to dance, <laughs> and since this song didn't make you want to dance, you're like, what, what kind is it of about? Yeah, yeah. What, what is it about? What is no, it about? Yeah, exactly. I got you. No, exactly. I got you. I got you. Um, oh, was that it? I don't want to yeah. cut you off. Well, sorry, girls. I'm gonna have to go with a never listen to again. But um, you know, like I said, you guys haven't been doing it very long. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I, and I think that's the main thing. You guys have been doing it since 1987. And I'll say you're in some big trouble. <laughs> but you've been doing this since 2007. So just keep grinding, you know, and just as long as you continue to get better, yeah, that's the main that's thing. That's the main goal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because when we started the show, I was just okay, and now I'm awesome. Well, so you, it, you it started takes, awesome, now you're... Now I'm... Like you're, you're giving away music. Like yeah, you're yeah, about. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I give people my trash, and they make... They get... You hits. know, yeah, they get hits off my trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Like Prince, <laughs> we were talking about that today. How Prince gave Sinead O'Connor his trash and and, and he made her hit. And then that was her hit. And then he came out and said, "Let me show you how it's done, you bald bitch." <laughs> Make it better. <laughs> then he blew it up. But uh, so yeah, so just just keep working, and you know, um, I'm I'm sure you guys are gonna get better. You yeah. know, I I really think yeah, that. Yeah, I think so too. Because it's not like you guys can't follow. 
the beat. You got you know yeah, for yeah. the most part you, you can. Right. Yeah. It's just a matter of all the stuff we said. We're not gonna say it again. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. So, um, oh, what would you vote it as? Uh, I'm with you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't listen to it. Coco. Same. All right. Well, your rating is never listened to again. So that's that. Good luck in the future, and um, we're gonna let you know where we're at. So hopefully, uh, you know, you guys get better, and I'm sure you will. Hey guys, let me tell you about HostGator.com. Are you gonna start a website? Then you're gonna need HostGator.com. HostGator.com gives you unlimited web hosting. That's right, unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth. They give you a free site builder. They give you easy control panel. They give you one-click script installs. They give you 4,500 free website templates if you don't even want to bother to plan out your own little thing. You get a 99.9% uptime guarantee. You get a 45-day money-back guarantee so you can even try it out for not one month but a month and a half. Still, if you don't like it, they'll give your money back. You get 24-7 technical support and a free $100 Google AdWords credit to promote your website. With plans starting at $4.95 a month, what are you waiting for? Oh, did I also mention they're eco-friendly? Their servers are run by 130% wind energy. So what are you waiting for? Go to HostGator.com, add in the promo code Nobody Cares Show, and get your website up and running. All right, next artist of the day goes by Bride of Monster, and they do death metal out of Toronto. The band started in 2004 when, when writing a death metal soundtrack to a hor horror film with Oh, what's wrong with me? Yes. You've been in Mexico yeah. too long. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the problem. I haven't <laughs> been there. I've been yeah. in the U.S. Maybe that's it. Maybe I've been in the U.S. too long. Yeah. You've been in the U.S. too long. Yeah. Um, I want to do the Jekyll's. Oh, what's wrong with me today? What's wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with me? Yeah, whenever it's, instead of saying, oh, I'm fucking up. Oh, what's wrong with me today? Oh, I worked a lot today. Yeah, no shit. Everybody fucking works and works I'm, hard. I'm tired. Dummy. I'm tired. Oh, I'm just tired. And remember Tiny Bus? I just can't remember. Yeah. Man, we're all tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, soundtrack to a horror film. The film was dropped and the band became full time. That sucks for the film. Uh, which we recorded this song in 2006. Since then, we've gone through five ex members, and ultimately, death of our pro our producer and the death. Wow! 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 Of our producer slash untimely manager. death. Untimely, untimely death. death. Uh, la, 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 last the November. producer and manager la last November. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Very sorry. So can award winner Kenny McLean. 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 We open for giant acts such as whoa, Denny, Dayside, is that, is that right? Carnaflex, uh, Cryptopsy, and Gorgeous Frankenstein, etc. We are currently recording our follow-up EP scheduled for release in 2010, which is actually out now because it says January 2010. On the same release date that we will shoot, we will be... There will be a short film God, available. God, fucking wrong with me today. There will be a short film available starting Death of Monster entitled DWI the Movie. You mean Bride of the Monster. Bride yeah. <laughs> Death of the Monster. <laughs> DWI the Movie. What did I say? You said Death of the Monster. Look, I got to listen back to this. I'm fucking retarded today. Yeah. <laughs> did you work day. a lot? No, Are you tired? <laughs> we must have hanging out too long or something. <laughs> we hung up all day, not thinking of the show. Uh, a trailer is available on YouTube. Sorry, guys, for your bio. I'll try to redo it. All right. <laughs> and this is uh, their song "Float," and this is "Bright Monster."
that was Bride of Monster with their song Float. And if you want to contact them, you can contact that, them at skump at brideofmonster.org. Or you can check them out at <coughs> brideofmonster.org, their website. And they also have a MySpace at myspace.com slash brideofmonster. All right, let's do it. Oh, I was already talking about you couldn't say. What? What? That, that number. Yeah, they got a cool number. I'm just going to say it's the uh, 555 beer. Why can't you say it? You can't say it, dude. You can't? No. So do. We've always done it. We always get phone numbers. We never give them out. Because I'll be crank calling and stuff. Oh, yeah. Because they are, even though they're giving, oh, because you have to go on our website. And if you go on there, then you're serious yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't want them getting ridiculousness. They got an awesome, awesome phone number. They do. All right. Oh, go ahead. Um, I thought it rocked. I thought it was cool. Um, I'm not a. I'm not a death metal dude, so I thought it was uh, the one thing you could fix is um, the mix. The mix, w- if if you get it better, it it would really, 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 really rock. Um, I thought, even though like most screamos, like bands, kind of you can't hear them. I actually could understand yours, even though you were screaming. So uh, I kind of dug it. So um, I thought the change-ups are fucking awesome. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was great. Thanks, guys. Coco? I, I just, overall, I really liked it. I really enjoyed the music. Um, the intro just really was just enjoyable all, all around. And um, like you said, I, I could understand the lyrics. Yeah. Like, I, I was surprised that I could actually understand yeah. it. I mean, it kind of brought me back to, like, a, you know, spine shake type of music. And I really, I just really did enjoy it. Is that where you're at? That's where I'm at. You like all the change, so you like everything. The music. I like the music. I like the the vocals. The vocals. I yeah. would like to he- maybe like the volume a little bit higher on yeah, the vocal. Yeah, that's the mix. Yeah. Just because it was, you know, I kind of felt like I was kind of straining a little bit, and I wish I could hear <laughs> yeah. it a little bit better. But yeah. I mean, other than that, other than I mean, that, yeah. I thought it was just yeah. awesome. That was where I'm at. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I. Uh, yeah. From from the get the intro, I liked. I liked. Uh, the beat of it, it did sound good. Um, but at the very beginning, um, you almost started to lose me with the monster screaming. <laughs> but then um, I think it was a little more audible to you guys than it was to me. Mm. Um, I didn't mm-hmm. understand as much of it as you guys did. Yeah. Um, but I was trying to. Um, but I thought the little bass line was cool. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, that seemed a little bit low to me yeah. yeah that seemed really low yeah, yeah. um and it and well the thing is is to i don't know maybe i'm wrong but to me that that at that moment that was the only thing that you heard and for it to be low and that's the only thing you're hearing yeah. like that like that shouldn't mm-hmm. it yeah. should i don't think it should ever be low but i mean i don't know it just i i i, I liked where it was put in though i liked where it was placed and you know i liked the um mm-hmm. that bridge even th- and mm-hmm. then with his screaming behind it with that bridge i thought it was awesome um. So yeah. So great. Boom. Is that someone's vibrator? No, me. Oh wait, Jacko's left his vibrator here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hop's gonna be mad. <laughs> so um, but no, I like the music a lot, and even with the screaming, I thought that it was um, job well done. Yeah. You know, job well done. I yeah, think I we've we've seen this a thousand times where, you know, w- we're coming around on the screamo. We don't mm-hmm. dislike it as much as we used to. Yeah. But usually the yeah, band, we're actually listening for lyrics and all. The that bands stuff. are almost always awesome, though. Yeah, <laughs> the bands are yeah, always, always awesome. Are. They always kick ass. Yeah. So, um, I think for me, I think I would iTune it. Yeah. Um, and maybe I mean I think if you had the levels just right, there's a chance it could go higher. A chance. Yeah. But it is what it is. And uh, the the music is just is is really good. When you have really good music, um, he, see that's that's the difference between this and and hip hop. If you have the a really good beat, yeah, and you, have, and you have a rapper that's okay, you're not gonna put up with it as much as you will yeah. with rock. Where if they just like kick ass, mm-hmm. yeah, you're gonna, willing point. to put up with yeah. it more. You know, um, whatever, whatever the reason is, who knows? Um, but 
I really, really like the band a lot. And I'm not saying that the screamer, singer, guy, monster was awful. <laughs> the monster. It might just be levels, but he seemed, yeah, to, yeah, he seemed to be getting his scream on very well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say that. So, great job. Thank you. Um, not that the songs weren't that great, but, you know, they weren't that great. <laughs> Some of them were okay. They just weren't up our alley. It was kind of hard to, you know. It was the, you know, the songs that that were done well, I think, just wasn't up our alley, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, and that just happened. That's that's going to happen. But um, I guess best for last today. Way to go. I'm yeah. going iTunes. Uh, my turn? I'll go iTunes, too. For the same reasons. And I would buy the album if it was cleaner. Kicked ass. Yeah. yeah. yeah Kicked was, ass. Kicked ass. Definitely a soundtrack. I actually would uh, buy the album because I, I think that, I liked it that much. Very nice. Yeah, I was um, struggling. Too. I was struggling to 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 hear the you know the lead, but I I think I would enjoy the album. Yeah, because I was struggling. Should I give him an iTunes or mm-hmm. an album? But I went with iTunes. Well, uh, there you go. Obviously, uh, you got an iTunes, so uh, you know you know what you got coming to you. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> wee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When Jekyll's in here, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, congratulations. Great job. Um, you may disagree. I don't know. Either way. Not too far off, though. Great job, though. Yeah, maybe they say, you know, our levels are good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you in your dreams. You fucking suck at re- reading bios, you fuck. <laughs> yeah. You can't even read a bio. You can't fucking critique me. <laughs> I really like their picture. Yeah, their picture kicks ass, too, man. Mm-hmm. Just fucking all around, they just everything kick ass. about them kicks ass. Right, a monster. Kicks yeah, ass. they have it that far away, so you can't really see the. They're monsters. <laughs> yeah, that they're monsters. <laughs> the monsters. That they're monsters. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, obviously you heard what we said. Great job, continued success. Keep up the good work, and hopefully you fix those couple. Uh, the one thing that we heard yeah, is really all it was. Just fix the mix. And um, thank you, thank you for that uh, song, and thank you, and uh, hopefully uh, you know. You guys uh, get on another film as well as putting out albums. Have all the success. Yeah. And uh, with that being said, I think uh, I'm just going to turn it over to us so we can get us the fuck out of here. Oh, now it's my turn usually? Now usually send me over to the end, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. If you want to – I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> if you want to check out the rest of any other show or the – what do we usually say? I, I think don't they should know. If the thing is, is if they want to hear this song or this show rather or any other show, go to nobodycareshow dot com, or you can also go to iTunes. Yeah, but then I thought, like, why would they want to listen to this show if they're listening to it right now? So well, if you want to listen to any other show that we've had before, well, why can't they listen to it again? Mm-hmm. That's true. What if the artist told their friends and they like they want to, con- you know, especially these guys? They said, "Hey, we got a great rating. Listen to it," and they want to listen That's to true. it again and That's again true. and again. And I think. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure if they're listening to it right now, they know how to get to the other ones. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yes. I'm quite sure That's of that. True. Yeah. So just. Uh, but if you want to find any info on any keep, artist. Keep the downloads coming. If you want info yes. on artists, that's when you want to go to nobodycareshow.com. And you can also, like we said, go to YouTube and YouTube. please subscribe. We are starting to get some, you know, some subscribers. Yeah. So uh, definitely you want to be one of them. You don't want to get left behind because. Um, when we have all the subscribers in the world, and you're the last one left, you're gonna feel like a dildo. And you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, because we 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 tend to chat a lot. To, yeah, yeah. To the the early ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we we have a lot of uh, a lot of show friends, so to speak. Now, yeah. oh, so yeah. don't be left Definitely. behind. Don't get... Um, you know, uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us. Yeah, like us. Yeah, add us as a friend because we got two pages, fan page and regular page. Yes, yes, yes. And do not forget, do not forget, if, whether you're an artist or not and you want to start up a web page, uh, definitely, definitely uh, click on our uh, HostGator banner or go to HostGator.com. As long as you use the promo code, nobody, nobody cares, cares show, so. you're going to save money and we're going to get money and everybody wins, just like I said. And do not forget to check out the clothing store. And one last thing, uh, please feel free to check out Jay and Dirty Bob show. Um, we have about 10 of them up right now. They're coming soon because Bobby... Dirty Bob's getting married. That's the yeah. thing. And, uh, That's why we haven't done shows. He's been coming, a little busy. This coming weekend is his wedding. So so after that... After that, I'm pretty sure we'll be... It's going to be on and cracking. Are they going to have a honeymoon? 
Shit. You guys are like, oh, he's going to be free now that yeah. he's married. <laughs> now that he's well, married. No, we, <laughs> no, no, no. Because the you, planning and yeah, all this all, kind of stuff. And, you know, he's got a lot going it's, on. It's all lady details. Cause yeah. Lady details. Because right. it's all about the wedding. Yeah, so he after just that, has to show up. When the dirty text. girl ain't gonna let him come over here anymore. No she's like, "Sorry, motherfucker." She's actually on. She's part of the show. <laughs> yeah, she's only been on a couple, but you know, she's been busy. definitely feel free to check yeah, them out. Check, check and uh, that's uh, Jane Dirty Bob Show uh, dot com. Or if you want to email us any questions, it's Jane Dirty Bob Show or confessions at, or confessions Jane Dirty Bob Show at gmail dot com. Or we also uh, we have a couple lines ourselves. Uh, 909 547 heat, 909-547-4328, or if this fits you better, 828-536-9678, or 9675, I'm a moron, 82852 <laughs> work. I'm tired, I'm tired. And you're fucking, What's yeah. up with you today? What's wrong with me? I got work today. Wait a minute. <laughs> I watch basketball. I watch the Bulls win. Wait a minute. I'm Wait, tired from doing that. Saturday. Yeah, so uh, definitely, you know, call or text us as well. You yes. want to leave you want to leave a confession. Uh, you want to get something off your chest. You want a question that you want answered. I got to be honest, even if we don't know the answer, there's nothing we don't know the answer to. Oh, tell them what you found out if you, if you, if you go through all the shit and stuff. Yeah, well, basically the base of the show is we're here to help people and people ask us okay. questions. And the bottom line is that if you can just uh, just kind of have tunnel vision and just get through all the, you know, dick shit, fucks and pussies, there's an actual really good answer at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Which is true. Yeah. We actually give really good advice. And if you don't want the good advice, just stick around for the shit, fucks and pussies. Yeah, whatever you want to enjoy, the dick shit, fucks and pussies or the great advice like both. or both. Yeah. And we also have confessions so you can laugh at those people. Yeah. So just uh, any way you want to do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We'll lay it out for you to play it out. That's how that goes. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for listening. And we are out.